My name is Patricia A. Rickman. I'm the chairperson of the Southwest Party Board. And my involvement in this solar garden is for one reason, to, pro to provide healthy food, fresh food, to this community because this is uh, what they call a food desert, low-income community with no grocery stores. My name is Veronica Morris. I'm with the City of Dayton's Department of Economic Development. My involvement with the Edge My Solar Garden is I'm one of the, the public supporters of this. So I do a lot of funding for the small community groups here. So it's my job primarily as a funder to be here and be involved. This community is like any other urban, poor urban community. So in terms of the challenges, there's challenges because there are not those type of grocery stores or markets that carry fresh and, and good sustainable fruits and vegetables. So this garden is, is imperative for bringing that and closing the food desert that this community sits within. At the Solar Garden, we're growing bell peppers, tomatoes, mustard greens, collard greens, string beans. They're growing Swiss chard, various greens, as well as cauliflower, those primary vegetables that most people will eat and that most people can't find here in this community. How it's addressing the needs of food security is the foods are going to the various food banks here in Dayton, in addition to the shelters here in Dayton and also local markets. So the food will go straight here to those community local markets and again, it'll help close that gap within the food desert. OSU Extension has been involved through grant funding as well as material, the supply of materials, the plants that have been planted, in addition to actually bringing in other community partners such as the county, the city, and Southwest Community CDC. So in terms of OSU's extension, again, their participation has been imperative and one of the reasons why this regeneration of this solar garden is even happening.